Hello, I'm here to talk to you again about uh, Jeanette. Today I just want to clear up a question about the book before we get into things like the trailer and, and what's happening with the project. Um, and the answer to that question is yes, lesbians do live in the countryside, really. Um, they're very similar to lesbians who live in towns and cities. Um, similar characteristics, uh, still into DIY, um, similar dress code, maybe Wellington boots a little bit more than Doc Martens, um, not so much the Birkenstocks because they tend to get um, cow poo between your toes. Similar dungarees are very popular, flat shoes obviously. Cats, um, cats might have to wear Wellingtons as well but you know, otherwise, yes, they're still um, very much uh, a part of our lives. Lesbians in the countryside still wear check shirts. I mean, this check shirt came with me from the countryside to um, the city. So um, that's been really straightforward. There are some differences between lesbians in the countryside and lesbians in the city, but I think really they're more general differences. For example, um, I think lesbians in the countryside use riding crops more, ride more in the countryside and so we ride more as well and you know um, riding crops are, are, are great for, for riding. Uh, other than that um, I think we are really very similar, uh, no reason to treat us any differently whether we're in the countryside or in the town or city we can still integrate we're still human beings. If you have any more questions about lesbians in the countryside or uh, well I've got friends actually who who have lived in the city and the town for years and, and can answer any questions really so um, yeah keep it coming and um, hopefully we can resolve um, any questions that you might have about lesbians in the countryside or or lesbians anywhere else. Thank you.